Crouched on a blue minivan, these refugees are acting out tales of pain, tales their audience is all too familiar with. The makeshift stage, one of many Syrian refugee camps near Lebanon's eastern border. The young actors tell personal stories written in storytelling workshops. We divided 300 refugees into 20 groups and I worked with each group for about two weeks. During these workshops, people told their stories, and from there we recorded some personal stories, which were later put up on social media. Eight stories were selected in the end. At the heart of the narrative, the treatment of Syrian refugees by their new host country. More than one million Syrians have sought refuge in Lebanon from the conflict devastating their homeland that has killed more than 280,000 people. But once in Lebanon, they face a whole new set of challenges, including finding adequate shelter, paying for residency papers, and feeling discriminated against. I'm acting out a scene at a checkpoint where a Syrian riding a motorcycle is always pulled aside and has their bike taken away. But a Lebanese person on a motorcycle goes through straight away. The project was sponsored by Beirut DC, an association that promotes Arab cinema. It received $125,000 in funding from the European Union and the UN's children agency, UNICEF. The Syrians acting in this play are telling our collective story. I hope the Lebanese and the entire world will listen to us. We are refugees and human beings, not animals. The van will be used to tour refugee camps in Lebanese cities and towns and across its countryside spreading stories of hardship and hope about the daily struggle of Syrians in Lebanon.